after eight hours and 20 minutes, a long layover in Dubai. Come back. Huh? I will. I love Bangkok. And I'm on my way to the airport. Bye. There's just one problem. Besides the Bangkok traffic, I have an eight hour and 20 minute layover, a mega layover in Dubai. So today, today, tomorrow, and the next day, I am flying. I am flying from here in Bangkok to Rome, Italy to reach my home base in Florence. But to get there, I gotta pass through Dubai. Hold on one second. So I'm Gregor Brown. You see, let me explain. I have these two major flights. I got a flight from here in Bangkok to Dubai and another flight from Dubai to Rome. The flights themselves, they're pretty simple. The first one is six hours and 25 minutes. The second one is six hours and 15 minutes. They're both practically six hour flights. So what's the problem you're asking? Problem is right here in Dubai. It's an eight hour and 20 minute layover that I have in Dubai. It's longer than the flight from Bangkok to Dubai. It's longer than the flight from Dubai to Rome eight hours and 20 minutes in Dubai. And to make matters worse, I arrive at 50 minutes past midnight and my flight leaves at 9, 10 a.m. the next morning. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. Well, the problem will have to sort itself out because we're boarding our flight now, leaving Bangkok, unfortunately, Thailand leaving it behind and we're heading towards Dubai. This plane is enormous, the A-Bus 380. Look at all those seats back there. <laughs> I do <it> again. <laughs> now, unfortunately, the flight may look empty now, but it's gonna be a full one. I don't have a window seat like I would have liked. I booked in late again, but big comfortable seats and we're gonna be in Dubai in no time. Bye, thank you. Bye. We are now in Dubai where I have eight hours and 20 minutes. Now the great thing, at least with the Dubai airport, is that it's big, there are options, and I'm not trapped into an airport where it'd be difficult to pass such a long period. There are coffee bars to pass your time in, shopping as well, anybody need a new handbag? And bars like these, and even more shopping at the duty free. My plan is to spend a few hours in the Marhaba Lounge. Hello, good morning. Gregor Brown. Can I have a glass of red wine? What's helped me a lot over the last year, this last 2022 year, is having lounge access because that's enabled me to spend hours in these places in the airports when I have a layover. It also means free drink and free food. Look at these little triangles. They're these spinach fatayers. Pretty good, kind of dried out from sitting there in the buffet. There you get a peek of the inside. The food here in this lounge is generally pretty good. I used it when I was flying out towards Sydney. Why am I traveling this time? Well, I'm on my way back from this mega trip out to Sydney in Australia. I was there for a week and a half at the Cycling World Championships. Then on the way back, I spent two and a half weeks discovering Thailand, beautiful and amazing country, and I'm already planning a trip to go back. The people are so friendly there. The landscape is amazing, warm, beautiful beaches, lush tropical jungles. You should go if you haven't already been to Thailand. If you guys are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out with all the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't yet subscribed, click that subscribe button down below. Another benefit of the lounge is that you can spread all your things out, plug everything in, charge everything up, all your batteries. How many of you have lounge access? I'm using the Priority Pass Club membership card that gets me into all these lounges with an annual fee. Through my credit card, I think I'm paying $300 a year to have the access. And given all I've used it throughout the year at different airports around the world, with time spent at my computer, having the food, having the drink, I would say it's well worth it. to get out of here I'm getting way too tired so at the Dubai Airport they have also this sleep and fly so I'm gonna try a little bit of sleep I just need a little power nap sleep 
went well, now it's just time for a quick, quick shower. I mean, I know I have a six hour flight ahead of me, but this way I take off feeling fresh. A shave always helps too. I think all this just makes for a better travel day. It's 6.40, I still have two and a half hours to go into my flight, but I feel refreshed now. That made a big difference. Sleep and fly. Thank you. <laughs> Good little place here in the Dubai airport. If you need to take a rest, if you got a long layover, or if you want to take a quick shower, try out sleep and fly. I think really the best way to maximize your time when you're in a long layover, like here in Dubai, is to avoid all the distractions, all the shopping, and just standing around and wasting time. Buckle down, sit down where you need to be, work there and get some stuff done. If you're tired, try to find a place to stretch out and take a nap. I'm back in the Marhaba lounge. Look at these delights, eggs, sausage, because we're in the Middle East, dates, and some sort of a sweet cake there. Ah, you gotta love the lounge life. I'm making friends. We're talking about Japan and my upcoming trip. Both these guys have been to Tokyo. They're giving me the lowdown. <laughs> Just found out they have cereal too. Getting a little bit of fiber before I fly. Drop down in the comments below. Do you have a airport lounge card, a frequent flyer card that gets you into the lounges? I think if you can afford it, going the lounge card is a great option if you're traveling a lot because in these airports, in the chaos, it gives you a safe haven to hang out, refuel between your flights as you're traveling. It's nearing that time. I need to find my gate for this next flight to Rome. We're doing this. This is the gate here. Zone D, they just call us. We're boarding now. I survived. I'm boarding my flight now to Rome after eight hours and 20 minutes in the Dubai airport. We're on our way. Mr. Brown, thank you. This way, please. Thank you. Bye.